Here we have a 5090 Founders Edition video card that came in for repair. The customer actually brought in two 5090s. I did mention this in a few videos back. We fixed one of the 5090s for him. He already came and picked up. And we have the other one here. And that's the Founders Edition. I'm making this whole video so we can talk about the 5090 Founders Edition. The customer installed a water block on both video cards, on both 5090s, and he damaged both 5090s. We have the Founders Edition right in front of me. And one thing I can tell you, never in your life buy a 5090 Founders Edition. One of the worst designs in the history of video cards, of GPUs. Why do I say this? Number one, it was a nightmare to take the video card apart. A lot of bits and pieces, a lot of bits and pieces. And I want to show it to you right now. Now, the water block is this one right here. Okay. And by the way, the other 5090 that we fixed, the water block was what was causing the issue. When I put the water block in, the card stops working. I checked all contacts. I checked how the water block is going on the card. And I was not able to figure out why the water block is not working on that card. I put the stock cooler, adjusted the thermals on the card, and the card worked. I told the customer, your water block is causing the issue. The water block on the Founders Edition also caused an issue. Okay, But it's not the water block itself that's the problem. It's the bits and pieces found on the 5090 Founders Edition that's the problem. Big Boss was talking left and right while he was opening the 5090 Founders Edition. Okay, look at this. The card comes with the PCIe connector and the card itself. That's the 5090 Founders Edition. What a stupid design. Okay, I'll tell you why. Now, the PCIe connector, which is this block right here, it must connect via a very fragile FVC connector. Okay, so it must go like this. It clicks in, and that's how this connects with this. You have another connector here. Something else connects with that connector. That's not what we're going to talk about today, but we're going to talk about this connecting with this. The 5090 is a very heavy card. You hit somebody with a 5090, they're not going to have time to sneeze. Okay? It's made into two pieces. Let's, for example, say... In the plumbing world, the more connections you have, the more joints you have, the more likely one of the joints will cause a leak, right? If you have one straight pipe, chances to have a leak on that one straight PVC pipe is almost none. If you have a small PVC pipe connected to another small PVC pipe, connected to a 90 degree PVC pipe, connected to another PVC pipe, then now you have a lot of ways for that pipe to cause a leak. It could be this joint, it could be that joint, it could be the 90 degree joint, so on and so forth. Electrical wiring. The more connections you have, the more likely you're going to have a failing point. The same goes with the 5090. You have more than one cart. You have more than one piece, more than one part. You are most likely going to have issues between the connections, especially if you take apart the cart you want to switch to a water block, you want to adjust the thermals, you want to clean it, you want to do whatever, chances are that card is not going to work again if you are not extremely careful. Now, the connector on the card, let me show you what's going on. If you already have a 5090 Founders Edition, you made the purchase, do not open it. Do not attempt to be a superhero and open the card. Look, we have a connector here, and that's a fragile connector. I cannot tell you how many times we changed a connector like this on cell phones, on iPad minis, on iPad screens, whatever. We have tons of videos working on that very same connector. Now, the connector looks okay to me. Okay, I inspected every part of the board. The card does turn on, but no image on the screen. And I'm trying to figure out why do we not have an image on the screen. I inspected the voltage rails. Everything is within range but we do not have an image on the screen. So I looked at the two connectors on the board, one connector here. I do not know what this is, probably some slight damage to the plastic. 
okay? It's a fragile connector, okay? I just want to show you how much I can zoom in with this microscope. I can even do digital zoom on top of the zoom that we already have to even get closer to that pin. If you do not already have one and you are in the market for a microscope, do not waste your time. We have best of the best. We perfected this microscope and the image quality is just amazing. Log in to northwishfix.com, click on shop, add to car checkout pay, and we almost always ship out same day. Everything from flux to this amazing microscope, soldering station, tweezers, everything, one-stop shop. Now, I inspected the board, front and back. And let me show you this connector. We have one more connector with a lot of connection points. One of those points fail, the whole card will stop working. The point may be a data line, it may be a voltage line, it may be whatever. You have one misaligned pin on this connector and the card will not work. Why? Just why do you want all those pins on the PCIe connector to depend on the pins of that connector? This, all the pins here, how many pins? 128, they all depend on this connector. If one of the pins on this connector is misaligned, then the whole card is not gonna work. It depends on which pin. So I inspected this connector pin by pin. Suspense, I'm going slow. Pin by pin, pin by pin, okay? I inspected every single pin and look at what I found. Look at what I found. A damaged connector. Look at the damage on this connector. The customer took apart the card. He installed a water block. The card stopped working. And that's because of the damage that we see here. No other damage was found on the board. And that's the only physical damage I see on the board. I can straighten out this pin, but we have one broken pin. And guess what? I went online to look for this connector and I was not able to get my hands on this connector. You cannot even get your hands on this if it broke for whatever reason. So what's the use of having this made in two pieces if you cannot buy a replacement and you cannot buy a connector unless I'm missing something. I went online, I looked, I even took a picture of the connector, Google Lens, search by image and I was not able to find that connector. If you know where we can buy that connector from, let me know, leave it down in the comments. I know we have highly skilled viewers watching our every video. And a lot of times we benefit from those viewers. Where can we buy a connector like this? Would you buy a 5090 Founders Edition after seeing this? I gave the case back to the customer, the Founders Edition case, so I cannot show it to you. He came to pick the other 5090, the ASUS 5090, and I told him we do not need the original housing, take it. We're gonna work with this, with the water block, because the water block is not causing issues. The issue is the connector itself. So, would you buy a 5090 after seeing this? A 5090 Founders Edition? I would stay as far away from the Founders Edition 5090 as I possibly can. If it's not broken, do not fix it. The old style graphics card is working. Why do you want to make it modular, bits and pieces, where we cannot even buy this if it broke? So what's the use of having two pieces? Why can't this and this be one piece? If the maker tells you, oh, the reason we did this is so that if this breaks, you can replace it, there are no replacements. You cannot buy a replacement. So why make this into two pieces? Right now, the card is going to be a no-fix unless we are able to buy that connector. Okay, it was like this. I never used that feature, our AGMI mixer. Okay. Speak or hide. Okay. That's it. Short video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video. Great job. Great job on this 5090 Founders Edition. Impressive.